everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome entry level rear living room travel trailer from Grand Design. This is a 2022 Grand Design Transcend Model 245RL. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first and the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about this grand design and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Wells RV Reviews Towables. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at this awesome Grand Design Travel Trailer, the 245 RL. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going? It's going good. I'm super excited. Like Matt said, this is a 2022. Yes! So I'm super excited. We're starting to see them trickle in now. So you'll start seeing more of the 2022 reviews. Yep. Let's see what changes are coming. Let's see what's new for 2022. That's right. Let's begin! Model is 245RL. The actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 30 feet 8 inches. The dry weight is 6,327 pounds. And will that hitch weight? 618 pounds. Now listen, even though this is entry level, it's a grand design entry yes. level. So it's going to be the best of the best That's right. for the entry level. Right here we do have a lipper component power tongue jack. Propane tanks and batteries go here. Right up here, when we say entry level, here's what we mean, Will. Aluminum corrugated sides with wood framing. That's right. Okay? Uh, not the fiberglass with the aluminum. We do have the black diamond plate rock guard there. But if you look, Grand Design, see how they space them farther apart? Yeah. It's more expensive to do it that way. It's a better looking unit, and it's just better built than the competition. Right here, we do have nice pass-through storage on both sides. Manual stabilizing jacks, zoom, 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 able to get it on all four corners. And this is 2022, so they had the opportunity to change it to the nice fold up steps, but which they, they did, did not. not. They still have the aluminum steps on both of them. It is what it is. We don't make them well, we just sell them. That's right. We do have two doors right here. Right here is a water heater right there. I really wish they had the white cover since it's on right. the white part of it. And we do have a nice power awning with LED lights. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. All right. Wow, look at that. Very nice power awning with LED lights. The awning also does pinch down on this side or that side if you need the awning to tilt one way or another. Right here, we do have TV on the outside crap for TV on the outside, I mean. Potable water fill, potable, potable. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the Super STs, Westlakes. ST205-75R16. Very nice. And this does have the armor underbelly package. It's not heated, but it is enclosed. Which definitely helps. For sure. Coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for your stinky stinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. It is prepped for a Furion backup camera and will. Yeah? We do have a ladder to get up on the roof. Let me tie my shoe. Let's go up there and take a look. All right, be careful. Oh, look at that. 300 pound capacity wow. for the ladder. Feel this. This ain't going nowhere. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, hell yeah, let's both go up here. <laughs> There's something exciting I already saw on the roof. How'd you see it on the roof? Up here on the roof, you can see this nice one-piece TPO roof. Wine guard digital antenna right here. Furion AC unit right here. Three places for Max Air fan covers. And then this is what Will was talking about. Nice solar panel already on the roof. Here we go now. Be careful. Here we go. Last step. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. One of the RV salesmen's taking his fat ass up on the roof, showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. 
Finishing up, 30 amp unit, one AC unit. That's where you plug it in. Coming on down the side here, very nice. That's where you dump your black and gray tank. Good spot. Black tank flush right here. And here's the other side of that storage. Look at that, very nice. And then you're able to see your tank fill, city fill, battery disconnect, satellite and cable hook up into everything. That's right. Well, well, the outside of this travel trailer looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go, take a look. All right. Oh, hello. <laughs> we spotted at the dealership well they caught us <laughs> let's go take a look all right watch your head you watch your head you're taller than me all right we'll just start in the back since we're here a nice living area back here kitchen area right there bathroom in the middle and the bedroom all the way up front. Now, Will. Yeah. We're going to get started back here. Okay. And before we get started, we want to give a big shout out to the sponsor, CampgroundViews.com. If you guys haven't heard, you've been under a rock. And what CampgroundViews.com is, is a new website. Here's what it is. It is the Google Maps, the virtual tours of campgrounds right now. They're knocking out all the state and national parks, which is the important ones because they have all the old trees and they're the ones that that's the, those are the campsites that are going to be hard to navigate in. So before you bring your unit in, you can actually navigate through it. And if you see a campground you like, you can select your dates and see if that campsite is available. Again, big shout out to our sponsor, campgroundviews.com. We have a interview with the owner and we'll link that video right up there and at the end of this video. Cool. Let's begin back here. And well, I'm looking and I'm liking. Yeah, me too. No dinette. Yeah. Love it. Back here, we have very nice cabinetry. Now see, this is gonna be a lot like the Winnebago. For e sure. Even though it's entry level, it's far superior. And you can just tell with the build Absolutely. quality. Absolutely nice big windows right here you do have storage on both sides okay one right there and one right there we do have a nice sofa and this is a trifold sofa and we're going to demonstrate it you know why will because america america that's why Look at that, nice trifold. Now something that I'm not liking, what I'm seeing here, yeah. is that this trifold's blocking the door. Right, I was thinking the same thing. But there is another door in the bedroom. Okay. Okay, it is what it is. We don't make them. We just reveal them. We just reveal them. Perfect. And then as easy as it is to open up, it is to put it back. And then again, if you don't want to sit in that sofa, you can also always sit in this sofa. Thomas Payne Collection triple seater, triple recliner. I love that. That's awesome. Very nice. Sitting here being comfortable. You got your cup holder here. Does this? What? Is it the type? Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Oh yeah. God bless them, USA. Got your cup holder here, you're sitting here. Nice, and you're kicking back, watching TV, which is directly across. It is the TCL TV, best of the best name brand right there. And then below. I love how Grand Design does this a lot. Yes, it's kind of like an ex like your a entertainment combo yeah, area. For ca more countertop. Yep. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for the MSRP. MSRP. And I'm going to get the uh, awning in at the same time. Cool. You know what that's called? Multitasking. People say I couldn't do it. But here we are. MSRP on this travel trailer here is... 
$33,706 MSRP. That's not a bad MSRP at That's all. That's a fantastic MSRP. But, well, people aren't paying MSRP. That's sale right. price. Do you see the sale price there? I don't. No, because it's a grand design. We're not allowed to advertise sale price. But, Will, we don't sell these at MSRP, and we make sure we get everybody a fantastic sale price. And if somebody wants to get the best price in America on this grand design, Tell everybody what to do. They can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. Or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send me an email. Or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see three contact me tabs. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV. Somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. If you're not ready to buy this RV, not a problem. That's what tab number two is for. That sends me and Will an email, and we're here to answer your questions to help get you the best price, or or to help answer your questions to help figure out what the best RV is for you. Or, if you're not looking to buy it all and you're just a regular fan, and you just want to say, hey, click that third tab. And Will, it doesn't matter if somebody clicks tab three, two, or one, what's the one thing we'll always get them? The best price in America. Will, let's continue the video. All right. Oh yeah, like I said, this is awesome because this is kind of your entertainment center. You can store some stuff in here for your guests or some goodies. Area. Yeah. Nice like countertop extension, a couple drawers. Okay. Some storage down below as well. Yes. Yes. Speaking down below, look how there's no vents on the yep, floor. Not at all. Very nice. Up here we got some storage right around the Furion microwave. Okay, okay. A little bit of storage up top as well. Yes. Got a Furion range hood here. Hood range. A Furion three burner cooktop with the blue lights. Yes, and sir. Stove. I mean oven. Yep. And a drawer for your pots and pans below. Very nice. Already did that one. We got some more storage right there. Yes, sir. These are not solid surface countertops. Again, it's going to be entry level, no lighter big deal. weight, yeah, lower price point. Uh, nice spray faucet here with a good size single bowl sink. Yes, and some storage right there. Yep. And last, to complete it all off with the Furion, we got it's even Furion uh, air conditioners. Right, right. Well, that's something we're going to talk about in a little bit. Yep. Because it's not Furion everything. Oh really? Oh, Almost oh, yeah, everything. You're right. Yep. Um, nice Furion fridge compressor fridge and drawer down below it's now time for the tall test well okay i got high hopes because this is a nice big bathroom oh yeah hi they hopes. did the skylight right yep they did it bing that is the shower test seal of approval that's right and before you're done close that little thing you would do okay. look at that so nice it is. right yep. there's where you would put your towels and everything and then across is your medicine cabinet and look, this is big and spacious, and I'm glad that they didn't make it all claustrophobic. Right. Um, you know, nice little medicine cabinet, little sink action right there, and storage right there. It's now time for the toilet test. Got high hopes for this, too. Porcelain. Okay. Well, wow. Well, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Show my legs. That, this, is the primest of pooping positions. It really Beep. is. Very, very nice. And then switch with me. Okay. Coming into the bedroom. Very nice, spacious. I hate, we'll talk about it in a minute. Okay. But there is a door to the, no, no, I'll say it now, I'll say it now. Okay. I hate walking through the bathroom. Yes. To get to the bedroom, but at least there is a door right there which is nice. Right yep. here, you got a little bit of storage. Okay. Closet space, yep. drawers. Yep, for sure. Right over there is where a TV would mount. Cool. You got storage over here on this side. Same thing over here as well. Yep, nice window right there. Little uh, table side table action. And then here, storage underneath and then right there well it's a fold up table Perfect. if you did want to eat in here that's all you need that's all you need and pretty pretty impressive pretty big pretty spacious bedroom area okay well well that's it that's the review that's the first 2022 grand design now before everybody leaves it's now time we give you three things we love about the grand design 
transcend, and three things we don't like about it will. What do we do with first? Three things we dislike? Yes. Okay. I'm going to go first. All right. Again, I dislike that you have to walk through the bathroom yeah. every time to get to the living room area. Yeah. Big dislike, almost a deal breaker, if it wasn't for this door here. Right. But the fact that if you do it, like most of the time, you're not going to have guests. Right. And if you do have guests and it is the middle of the night, then you can at least walk around. No big deal. Right. That's number one. Number two, dislike. It's going to be hard for me. Do you have, do you have two more? I no? do. Okay, I do. I do. I do. This isn't a big dislike. The TCL TV. Yes. Furion makes the best. They have a Furion air conditioning. Furion, everything's Furion except the TV. They should have just went with the Furion TV so it was Furion everything. Exactly. Just like the Forest River Impression. It's nice to have one manufacturer when this crap breaks. Right. And able to call. Right. But I'm going to combo that. Oh, yeah. What's that? Can't see the TV. No, you cannot. Horrible TV position for right here. Yeah. Um, it's just it's great for it here. Great for there. Terrible horrible for, for there. here. And then, Will, I know you know what the third dislike is. Oh, yeah. Talk to me. Can't believe I forgot about that. I can't believe it. We've been saying it all year long. All year long. We're now in a new year, a new era of travel trailers. And they could have fixed it. They could have called Mr. Jason Lippard. They could have called Mr. Something Moride. They could have done Moride or Lippard. And they didn't do either one of them. And they still used those aluminum steps. Just for that, another year of... Another year of dislikes. Another year of dislikes. Yep. Yeah. Well, well, that's three things we dislike about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this travel trailer. Okay. I'm going to go first. I love the sofa. Right. I love that sofa. I love how they're doing the double sofa. We don't need the dinette. That's There's right. There's a dinette outside. You're going out to restaurants. And God forbid if you are eating inside, you have the fold-up table right there. Right. I'm a lot more comfortable sitting here eating my chicken parmesan <laughs> than sitting at a dinette that's not fat boy tested or fat boy approved. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's number one. Okay. Will, number two. All right, mine's going to be this kitchen combo area here. Talk to me. If they cut this kitchen off here or, you know, anywhere near there, it would have been a really, really tight kitchen. Which a lot of manufacturers are they doing. They do. Yep. But the fact that here you can put the PlayStation here, the yep. Blu-ray player, or you have plenty of counter space or some combination thereof for you to decide what to do. And you still have, you still have cabinet space and drawers. If you have guests, you can let them put their clothes in there. If not, you can put food and whatever else in there, pots and pans. Yes, sir. So, I love that. And I have another like. Okay. I mean, I mean there's a lot that I like about For this, sure. right? But I'm going to go out on a limb with something different. Okay. Follow me. We're on number three, right? Yes. Yes. Well, this is America. That's right. And you know what America needs? Higher weight capacity. Yes, higher weight capacities. I like how they have this 300 pound maximum. That's right. Um, it makes it so I'm not overweight for the ladder. And you know, you know, as big as I am, you know, we went to SeaWorld <laughs> and a lot of the slides had weight capacities and that I was overweight. And we were walking around and there's a lot more people that's a lot heavier than me. Right. And we don't just mean fatter. I mean, even somebody like Will, if Will was just, you know, me and Will, we're, we're, we're chubby, right? We're chubby. Right. But even if Will wasn't chubby, he's a big guy and he's always gonna be over 300 pounds. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just big bone, just American, just corn Well, and normally it's 250. Right, and the fact that it's normally it's 250, you know, and that, you know, that, that. It's even worse. Yep. Well, that's it, Will. That's the review. Thank you guys, absolutely everybody, so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this travel trailer, please call, text, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews.gmail.com or 
301-906-0962. That is the personal cell or the best thing to do is to go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. If you are in the market for a nice couples travel trailer like this, in a few seconds, we're gonna put its competitors right there and there. Will, is there anything you'd like to say? Of course. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. The um, Transcend is a very, very popular uh, travel trailer. Great price point, great value. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like and three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Also, big shout out to the sponsor yes. today, campgroundviews.com. Yep. Uh, we can't do this without you guys. And it's an awesome website. Make sure you guys check out the interview. We have it right there with Mark, the owner of campgroundviews.com. Yes. It's a great product and we, we're endorsing it and we know that you guys will absolutely love it. Absolutely. Thanks so much for watching and Will, we'll see you next time.